I've always had a passion for cold cuts. I, th I think the sandwich is a metaphor for, for life, you know? I mean, it, l let me put it this way. Everyone wants their security. It's the thing that protects them so that nothing spills out. Uh, that's the bread. We need our two slices of bread on either side. You know, what is a sandwich with only two slices of bread? It's nothing. You need something inside. Now that's the meat. It's the meat of life. Some people have asked me, why a sandwich? Name a better piece of food. Pickles? Bullshit. Pickles suck. What do you think of Dennis's attempt to make the world's largest sandwich? Well, I married Dennis for his passion, and who's to say where passion leads you? So are you trained in any way for a task like this, sandwich artist? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. She's the artist. I'm the practical one. I studied architecture at Philadelphia University. It's ranked at one of the top 100 architecture schools in the entire country. I feel like it'll help me uh, be more than qualified to make this sandwich. I know it's not going to be an easy task slash feat, but I have the enthusiasm to make it happen. I'm Kevin Schnabel, PhD. Uh, I am the world record holder of the world's largest display of pictures of world's largest things. I wrote my dissertation, Consumer Culture and Identity, as defined by macroscale simulacra. <laughs> I love that word. The world's current largest sandwich was built in Zocalo Square, Mexico. That's Mexico. Anyway, it was uh, three and a half tons and about 12 square feet. That's about 40, 41 cubic feet. And here we are just to give you all a little idea of what we're looking at for size. Here's me. Hi. And here's my friend Bill. Hey, Bill. I'm over here. Hey there. I'm quite full. Me too, Bill. <laughs> Do you think Dennis Morgan has a chance of breaking the world's largest sandwich record? No, see, I don't doubt Mr. Morgan's uh, passion for sandwich making. Uh, many people have attempted to make the world's largest sandwich. Now, there was a group of cooks in Iran who set out to make the world's largest sandwich, and before they even finished it, the onlookers started to eat it. And don't even get me started about the great mayo debacle of Ot Four. Dennis feels in order to become one with the sandwich, it must be under constant surveillance to ensure its success. So naturally, he felt the need to build it in our backyard. In order for us to do this, we had to apply for a permit from the city, a, um, a class D grain and meat based assemblage. I hope they decide soon. Right, baby? Frankly, what is currently called the world's largest sandwich is a joke. Have you seen the thing? Were you impressed by it? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> it, even the ratio is all off. It was all bread, no meat. Sure, it's big, but it's got no heart. No one cared about that sandwich when they made it. They no guts. They were not sandwich artists. My sandwich will use only the freshest ingredients. There's no smelly, rotting meat sandwiches for me. I mean, we're talking about thinly sliced pastrami on focaccia bread. Uh, I've got some formaldehyde, too. My sandwich will outlive me. When you're making the world's biggest sandwich, you're making something much much bigger than yourself, literally. These records aren't made to be kept, they're made to be broken. And what is a record, really? Well, it's the biggest number. The best way is to make the world's biggest something. Some people make a ball of twine, some people make a sandwich. Some people have little gnomes that sit in their front yards. I only hope that this Dennis is the right guy for the job. So, you're serious? You, you can't... Well, well, not even. If, if I were to... No, don't get me wrong. I'm completely willing. I, I just have to... 
You don't even have it in bulk. You, you can't even. No, don't get me wrong. I really... Okay. All right, fine, I'll... I understand. I'll just gonna have to call you back. Okay. Thank you. Fine. Should he attempt the world's largest sandwich? I hope he does. I really hope he does. Um, I'm going to have a little bit more free time. Yeah. So, uh, how hard is it to operate one of those things? I'm currently training for the 2009 World Juggling Championships. I've always had a passion for hand-eye coordination. <laughs>